I'm just two videos away from finishing Gaini. वर्ल्ड मेंटल हेल्थ डे वर्ल्ड आई नो जब मैं वीडियो अपलोड करूँगी तब लेट हो गया होगा बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट अ से प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर मेंटल हेल्थ एंड यस इवन साइड द वीडियो सो टूडे इज टेंथ अक्टूबर विच इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज वर्ल्ड मेंटल हेल्थ डे एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू गो आउट बिकॉज माई पोस्टिंग गॉट कैंसिल्ड एंड पोस्टेड इन साइकाइट्री राइट नाउ एंड देर वॉज अ प्ले गोइंग ऑन देर सो द पोस्टिंग गॉट कैंसिल्ड एंड आई हैड एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम इन द मॉर्निंग सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट गो आउट गिव माई सेल्फ अ बिट ऑफ रीक creation and also take care of my mental health so you will definitely get to see where did i go in the coming up shots isliye do not forget to subscribe anyway once i came back i started studying gaini so if you watched my previous video i told you that these days i'm studying gaini because this month's target is to finish obs in gaini so that i can start concentrating on my third year subjects from the coming up months because i'll be having my pre finals in the month of jan so to be very honest, Honest, ever since my second year, I have had an inclination towards obs and gynae, but I always felt more inclined towards obstetrics. Now, if you're confused between both of these subjects, so obstetrics is a subject where we study about a pregnant woman. What all conditions does she go through? How to treat them? Management, everything. And gynecology is all about non-pregnant females. What all conditions do they go through? Cancers and everything of that sort. And I personally thought that I will not like gynae as much as I like obstetrics. Actually, when I decided to finish this subject, I started with the most difficult or the most unliked part for me, which was gynecology. And to my surprise, I finished this whole humongous subject, which has approximately 52 videos on marrow, in like one week, averaging at about seven to eight videos a day. No doubt, I used to get really tired at the end of each day. I used to have a little headache. And gynae ke saath saath in the evening, I was also reading Dhingra, which is this book. Of of ear nose and throat because i thought ki ye bhi saath saath thoda thoda karte chalte hain because marrow se i have already finished ent and i quite like the subject also so i used to start off my day with freshening myself up meditating nicely and doing my prayers i also do a part of hanuman chalisa in the morning these days maine recently puri hanuman chalisa by heart yaad kiya hai and it i believe is helping me a lot in giving me you know that strength helping me to push my limits and what not and then i used to read a book depending on whatever amount of time that i have currently i'm reading this book called get epic shit done from ankur variku i've read iska previous version also and then early in the morning only like my early in the morning whenever i used to wake up i used to start with studying because i believe in the morning i'm a lot more productive than the rest of the day on this day i had to skip my breakfast because i woke up a little late and by the time it was 12 12:30 i ordered my lunch only so i had this nice dal roti and this was the time when i used to have my entertainment hour where i used to watch youtube or anything that i like to watch for example right now i'm watching sara bhai versus sara bhai i had also ordered my groceries not groceries exactly but a little bit of fruits because i thought that i am missing out on nutrition so i should order some fruits to get that energy boost because when you study you really need something to eat because i don't know if is it for you but for me i feel a lot more hungry when i keep on studying the entire day so yes i ordered them so that i don't end up munching on other things now here's the interesting part i did not set a target for myself ki mujhe ek hafte mein ya itne time mein finish karni hai gaini because i knew i'll take my own time and i didn't want to put undue pressure on myself and currently i'm doing gaini from marrow so marrow has in total 110 videos on obgy and the target was to finish it all up in like 30 days but thankfully dr sakshi arora ma'am has taught it in such a beautiful way on marrow she's covered almost everything be it neat pg mcqs or be it whatever comes in your profs or your vivas or your case presentations including all the instruments including all the videos of the procedures management that is done including c section hysteroscopy videos mini laparotomies ivf videos and what not i used to feel so fascinated and this was my 
my favorite part of studying gynae is watching all the videos of all the procedures that were being done thinking that probably maybe one day i also get to do all this if you're a medico studying from marrow do let me know in the comments what is your favorite part of studying from marrow mine is definitely these video procedures that i love watching now after finishing almost nine videos on this day which happened very unexpectedly i just went with the flow and i ended up watching nine videos i thought of making for myself some fruit cream because i had ordered so many fruits so i thought why not it will be a nice dinner because i was not that hungry but i wanted to have something varna i will feel hungry late at night so i cut all of these fruits whatever i had i had bananas apples and i also had some dragon fruit and i also cut some dry fruits including almonds and cashews topped all of this with some cream and also added some jaggery powder for a little bit of sweetness and by the way in the background there was also this india versus afghanistan ka match running and i was taking a few of the highlights and here happened a beautiful thing so ye match arun jetli stadium mein ho raha hai and on this drone shot i could actually spot mamsi i was so happy i mean my college and to be honest this is like 400 meters away from our college just college ke samne and whenever i'm in the hostel i'm literally able to hear all the screams if the match is happening and on this day i was really able to anyway iske baad i had my yoga class so i started with that yoga has been one of my biggest stress busters ever and which is why i decided to take this yoga class this month it's an online class that happens 3 to 4 days a week and the best part is that i can do it at the comfort of my own room and i genuinely feel very very relaxed we do a lot of things here and we learn a lot most importantly about you know holistic wellness holistic health so i really really like this and after this i had my my fruit cream and as usual i was watching the match because all of my major tasks were complete for the day i could study i could do my yoga also i did my vlogging also which is what you're seeing and here happened rohit sharma ka a very very huge six and i'm not kidding a minute before this was telecasted on the laptop i knew that this was going to happen because i heard a huge scream coming from the stadium After this I went on to edit all of my reels and shorts and India won so it was celebration time I didn't do anything as such just danced a bit and went off to revising all of that I had studied today so I was walking because post dinner I do a little bit of walking in my room only and while walking I just kept on saying and revising these things uttering them again and again so that they sort of fit into my mind i don't know if that makes sense to you and then i had to study ent as i told i'm trying to study one or two chapters each day whatever you know my body allows whatever my brain allows to take in so i just study all of that and since i've already finished all of the videos of ent reading the book now is like a cake walk and also a little bit of revision because the last video that i watched of ent was in the month of april or may probably so it's been a lot of while after which i just quickly ran through all of the pages that i had studied in gynae today because without revision it's really useless to study whatever you're studying and i called it a day it was a humongously productive day i really 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 loved it i wore my satin cap a lot of you guys keep on asking about this so this is a satin cap to you know reduce hair fall and reduce frizz the next day i woke up i did all of my usual morning rituals like meditating doing a path and also reading the book that i'm reading and today i had to go to the posting so i quickly got ready i had my nariyal pani this is my usual morning energy booster and then i quickly made my bag and rushed to the posting one good thing that happened in the posting today which is that we were able to see the ECT room which is the electroconvulsive therapy if you might have seen in movies essay psychiatric patients go electric shock sort of dete hain if i have to tell you in layman terms i know if you're a non medico you might feel mitariye kya bolti rehti hai 
बट आई रियली लाइक टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दिस टू यू गाइज सो या प्लीज बेर विथ मी एंड टूडे वॉज अनदर स्पेशल डे बिकॉज टूडे आई न्यू दैट आई विल बी एबल टू फिनिश अप गाइनी बिकॉज आई वॉज लेफ्ट विद द लास्ट एट वीडियोज हेलो एवरीबडी सो टूडेज टारगेट इज टू फिनिश गायनकोलॉजी I am so so happy. I'm just two videos away from finishing Gaini, and from tomorrow I'll be starting OBS. I just took like one one and a half week to finish the entire subject, and like I was dragging it so much because I was like, it's such a huge subject and everything. But you know, more than half of it is almost finished, and I'm so so damn happy. And of course, the last two videos went by smoothly as butter because I knew that these are the last two videos of Gaini that I'm watching, and after this I'll be done. And trust me, when I pressed this mark complete wala button, I felt so so good. I was done with a good half chunk of the entire subject, and this is one major subject in final year. So I was so so. So happy at this point. Post this, I quickly changed my clothes because it was time for my yoga class. And for yoga, you really need to wear like nice, comfy, and loose clothes. And now you might wonder why, but honestly, at this point, after finishing it all up, due to maybe some social media stress, I really don't know. But I was feeling a little bit anxious. Even I didn't know the reason exactly. But once the yoga class started, and I just started concentrating on my breath my body movements it was relieved to a great extent after which i started to make my dinner for today i didn't want to order and i had these onions kept so i thought of making malai pyaaz ki sabzi i also had cream kept in my room because yesterday i made fruit cream so i thought okay why not so i quickly chopped the onions and i made the sabzi it is so quick and so easy and never disappoints you it always turns out so 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 good i also ordered rotis because obviously i can't make them in the room so i ordered two nice tawa rotis and i enjoyed my dinner with a lot of gratitude and accomplishment and pride in my heart all at the same time because i was able to finish up my targets number 1 number 2 i knew i had that confidence that yes i can set better targets and finish them up really nicely talking about the anxiousness or the anxiety that i was facing at that point i got to know the reason about it and i started working on that too but honestly sometimes some things are just not under your control and you can't do a lot about them you can just work the best way you can and if things don't turn out the way you want them to I told you in a short dance your heart out and that is what I'm doing right now and this really helps release those endorphins in my body and give me a bit of adrenaline rush and I feel so happy post this so this was about today's video I hope you enjoyed this one a lot of you asked me a lot of times that we want a proper study vlog and I thought of coming up with one this week I hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next video next week okay bye